proud that her frank honesty about her prostitute past had lead other women to speak up about being blackmailed by the creep. Emma Dales Tracy told stepson Jacob, Joe Warren Pant, and husband David, Matthew Wolfenden, that Phil was going down for his crimes. But while Jacob gleefully hugged his stepmom upon hearing the news, telling her that he was so proud of her, David seemingly had bigger things on his mind, wanting to impress snooty Dr. Kavanagh, Johnny McPherson, and his wife ahead of the retail awards. Listen to this, Tracy announced. As David tried to spruce himself up ahead of the dinner dot looking down at her phone, she read out a comment, thanks to the bravery of one woman. She has encouraged other women to step forward. But David failed to respond. Instead tending to his suit and turtleneck with a lint roller dot but eagle eyed Emmerdale fans spotted an error with David's grooming routine. With some noticing the lint roller was still in its packaging dot viewers flocked to Twitter to call out the mistake. With one writing, that lint roller would work a lot better, David. If you actually opened it. A second snidely commented, is David defluffing his jacket with the hair remover with the label still on? Um. David. Take the packaging off the lint roller before using it. Laughed a third fan. This was only the first gaff in there. Comedy of errors which appeared on tonight's first Emmerdale. Another viewer pointed out that Faith Dingle, Sally Dexter, seemingly downed an empty bottle of ale that Lachlan White, Thomas Atkinson, and Bell Dingle, Eden Taylor Draper, were selling. Meanwhile, other fans got a giggle out of Tracy mistakenly holding her phone upside down when she realized David had shredded the papers with her story and dot elsewhere among the Emma Dale cast. Rebecca White, Emily Head, struggled to look after baby Seb as she worked alongside Robert Sugden, Ryan Hawley, and Aaron. Dingle, Danny Miller, in recovering from her injuries. But will she struggle to cope? Emmerdale continues at 8 p.m. tonight on BBC One.